it's time for our daily devotion, daily, daily, daily abiding in Jesus Christ. Christ, 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 in the book of John chapter 15 verse 7. If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. So we invite you to spend a little moment as we bring you today's daily abiding in Jesus Christ, a daily devotional ministry project of Christo do Gino Baga from passages taken from the Holy Scriptures with quotations from the Spirit of Prophecy by Ellen G. White. Daily, daily, daily abiding in Jesus Christ. June 5, 2020 Matthew 28 verses 5 to 6 Verse 5 And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not ye, for we know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come, see the place where the Lord lay. Quotation from the Spirit of Prophecy Christ arose from the dead as the first fruits of those that slept. He was the anti-type of the wave sheep, and his resurrection took place on the very day when the wave sheep was to be presented before the Lord. For more than a thousand years this symbolic ceremony had been performed. From the harvest fields the first heads of ripened grain were gathered, and when the people went up to Jerusalem to the Passover, the sheaf of first fruits was waved as a thank offering before the Lord. Not until this was presented could the sickle be put to the grain, and it be gathered into sheaves. The sheaf dedicated to God represented the harvest. So Christ the first fruits represented the great spiritual harvest to be gathered for the kingdom of God. His resurrection is the type and pledge of the resurrection of all the righteous dead. During his ministry, Jesus had raised the dead to life. But these were not clothed with immortality. After they were raised, they were still subject to death. But those who came forth from the grave at Christ's resurrection were raised to everlasting life. They ascended with him as trophies of his victory over death and the grave. These, said Christ, are no longer the captives of Satan, I have redeemed them. I have brought them from the grave as the first fruits of my power, to be with me where I am, never more to see death or experience sorrow. To the believer, death is but a small matter. Christ speaks of it as if it were of little moment. To the Christian, death is but a sleep, a moment of silence and darkness. At the Savior's resurrection a few graves were opened, but at his second coming all the precious dead shall hear his voice, and shall come forth to glorious, immortal life. Ellen G. White Desire of Ages 785 to 787 Our prayer for you today Dear God, it is with awe and reverence that we approach your holy presence because you are our Creator and our Father. Thank you so much for your messages through the daily, Abiding in Jesus Christ ministry. We pray for the abiding and the indwelling of Jesus Christ in each of us today. Thank you for answering our prayers for we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.